Here are my top 15 fashion mistakes that are all super easy to just stop doing. So, let's go! Why do we only wear clothes the way they were meant to? Put on your dress or blouse backwards and you will have twice as many options. Wear trousers underneath your mini dresses and tuck in your mini dresses into your trousers to be used as tops. Wear bathing suits as tops and bras and shirts as dresses. With a bit of imagination, your wardrobe possibilities are endless. Yes, they are really sporty cute in that 90s kind of way, but that wide elastic band is not comfortable one bit, am I right? And I get those annoying muffin tops from a lot of knickers, making me feel less pretty. Who needs it? Here's to underwear that only make you feel gorgeous, not self-critical. Oh, and thumbs up if you are more fashion mistake videos, by the way. Our bodies are not meant to wear heels. I saw a foot specialist the other week and he said that I should never wear high heels. He told me that if you wear heels a lot, they ruin your feet, your calves, your lower back, your whole posture. Especially if you already have back problems or something else, just skip the heels. If your office dress code is strict with this, you should speak to HR because forcing women to wear heels, that's borderline workplace abuse. Trends are fun and they can make dressing up feel exciting, but buying into trends you don't love because they're trends? Let's stop it. We should wear what we think is beautiful and express who we are through our very own personal style, no matter what the trend is. Okay, a little bit disgusting, but good quality jeans will only become better the less you wash them. They're kind of meant to be a bit dirty, so hold on, don't pop them in the machine just yet. Depending on where you live, you might have been told to put away summer clothes in winter and vice versa. Why? I wear winter chunky sweaters in summer all the time and summer dresses are great with tights and a jumper, even in winter time. Make your wardrobe work all year round. If you don't like looking cute, then don't. If you don't like looking androgynous cool, then don't. Society has a lot of rules for how we should dress, both women and men and everyone else. Lines too short, try to put society on mute for a change. Clothes that are too tight, too short, fit weirdly, cut into your waist. Clothes are meant to work for you, not against you and constrict you. Only wear clothes that make you free to move and breathe and dance. We have so much more to choose from if we venture into the other section of the shops. I wear menswear all the time and David wears some of my women's wear clothes too. More and more unisex clothes are popping up all the time, so let's broaden our horizons. Why do we fall for this over and over again? Cheap stuff that we deep down know we won't love for years to come. Bad for our wallets, bad for the environment, and bad for the overall feeling we have for our wardrobe. Time to stop it. If it doesn't fit in the dressing room, it won't fit at home. That piece of clothing will only sit in your wardrobe and judge you for not fitting into it. Who needs it? When you're old and look back at the fabulous life you've lived, which outfits will you remember? The safe, boring outfits or the extravagant, fucking brilliant ones. Go for it. I sometimes even take my top off when I eat noodles. David finds it weird, but he's not complaining. At least I'm not doing it at restaurants. White clothes are precious. Let's protect them from sriracha and soy sauce. Always sit down in the fitting room to see how trousers feel in the waist before buying. Oh, and always eat a big lunch before going shopping. If you feel uncomfortable in a piece of clothing, you won't be able to relax and enjoy yourself. You will feel less confident and that will show. Again, make your wardrobe work hard for you, not the other way around. Nothing is sexier than a confident person comfortable in their own skin. And you deserve to feel that way every day. A huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. As some of you know, I've been a fan of Skillshare for years now. 
So if you want to start learning something new to expand your creative output, where should you start? Well, listen to this. Skillshare is an online learning community with classes that teaches you how to be more creative and how to make your passion into your business. They offer such meaningful memberships for creatives and let you learn in your own time with so much to explore, with epic projects to create and with the support of your fellow creatives, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish your goals for this year. I recently took the class Street Photography and Locked the Secrets of Composition, Color and Confidence by Craig Whitehead. I've been doing street photography with David for about, I don't know, eight years now, but it was so great to get some new tips on things that we've never thought about so that we can step up our game. So it is time, you guys. Let's start learning today. Skillshare is giving away two free months of premium memberships to the first 500 people who click the link in the description box to help you explore your creativity. And after that, it's only around $10 per month. So thank you so much to Skillshare. And guys, let me know which classes you end up taking. Let's go learn something. But now tell me your biggest fashion mistakes you've ever made. Can't wait to hear all about your epic fashion fits. Love you guys. See you next week. Puss puss and halo. <laughs> you said the guys who are like, Oh, it's just a little, you know, like squeezing the bum. You just get over yeah, it. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, should we try that on you then? And yeah, see exactly. how you like it after can, a while? Can we try, try a couple of years of sexual harassment yeah. at work? No one's raping you, but just a couple of years of sexual harassment. How would By you feel someone about that? that you are really not attracted to.